Hi guys, this is my review of the Corsair Raptor K30 gaming keyboard. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. So, we start off with a rather nice box, as you can see, red backlit keys, six programmable G keys, optimised anti-ghosting key matrix for accurate gameplay. So, should we open this up? Yeah, sorry about the bad camera and the bad mic. I'm using my phone. I don't know if we'll have anything to do better. So, I've had this keyboard a little while. So, yeah. So, let me just get it around in the right way. So, yeah. That's what it looks like. It's got different colour keys on the arrow keys. And the AWSD, and when it's plugged in, yeah, it's got the backlit key. It's all rather nice. It's got the lovely Corsair light log up there. Got the button for the lights here. Got volume control, volume off, volume down, volume up, stop, rewind, fast forward, and stuff. So. What else is there? There's the G keys, programmable ones, and yeah, it's all in all quite a decent keyboard for the price. Yeah, it's quite nice. I quite like it. So now let's see what it looks like when it's turned on. So now, as you can see, the keyboard is plugged in and looks rather nice so I can demonstrate the light button again so off, dim, brighter, then brightest quite like it on brightest it's all the things you find on the normal keyboard all the numb keys and stuff don't know what it just did but okay <laughs> and then it's got the gaming keys I'm not sure what these up here do I'll read about that later but yeah all in all I'd say it's a decent looking keyboard, so yeah. So, if you enjoyed my review of the Corsair Raptor K30 gaming keyboard, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment. But until the next one, bye guys.